Okay guys, we're on round two of seats. Uh, I never could get those seat belts, the old ones, to work properly. I think there was just a year mismatch between the belts and the latches. As you can see, everything's back out of here. Um, I just decided to go to the junkyard and snag these boys. They're uh, they're kind of dirty, but they're really in pretty good shape, even the driver. And for 75 bucks for the pair, and they have obviously integrated seat belts. Um, we do need to fix this one. I just found a bolt that'll fit, but this one was missing this bolt. We need to cut it down and make it work. But basically, we're gonna put these seats uh, in this truck, and that way they'll be comfortable, they'll be durable, they'll be set up in the right position, and most importantly, they'll be secure to the floor, and they will have secure seat belts. Um, I ain't one to fuck around with seat belts. That's just just one of those things, guys. Where like, uh, whatever, it's it's not worth it. It was worth it to just drive over and get the plates, but I'm not gonna put this thing on the street if it's unsafe. Um, but the cool thing is, these are fully manual truck seats. Uh, the downside, of course, is that they do not, I believe, have any sort of, yeah, they don't, they don't, they're not going to flip forward to make entrance into the rear easy. Um, and obviously they will slide forward, but, uh, you know, I mean, you, you do what you can. Honestly, I don't expect there to be a whole lot of backseat passengers, and it's very possible at some point that we're going to remove this backseat altogether. Um... And just do away with it but for now these are going to work especially when the roof is off it's real easy to hop over the side and the back um, so these are kind of dirty uh what we're going to do first i think is um figure out a way to fit them up to the truck and then once once we kind of weld together everything and get everything good i'll uh, take these things and, and clean them out properly so first thing i get inside get some measurements the first thing i i normally measure is height so we're going to drop the seat in there just on the floor and see how it feels and figure out how many inches up we need to go um, and then we're going to start working on building the frames. So the cool thing looks like we don't really need to adapt height. Sitting in here, just sitting on the floor, it's about right. We're going to add, it's maybe a little bit low, but we're going to add a, um, a frame in between which is just, it's going to add height. There's just no way to, to not add height. Um, you know, maybe half an inch or so but still it'll it'll be noticeable so the next thing we got to do is we got to figure out where the seat bolt holes are and the floor bolt holes now this floor needs a little bit of repair um, I'm gonna stitch it up make sure it's it's pretty solid but what we might do is I might end up um, just putting down a new a new floor sheet and uh, mounting to that we'll see here in a second so in the end we decided we didn't want to add very much height to this so on this side, I fixed a few spots, basically just took some 10 gauge. These are bad cracks. Um, got it cleaned up. I left some of the speed holes in the floor. That way if we get into some water, some garbage or whatever, it's not gonna be, uh, not gonna be too, too bad. And so since I didn't wanna add very much height, basically what we do is we cut this. This is um, maybe 3 16 maybe one quarter, something like that. Big piece of plate. We're gonna weld this right here and then two smaller squares over here and the way that'll work is and then we'll through bolts to the floor and uh, use some big washers on the other side that way you basically have a, a, a real heavy strong metal connection right at the floor um, and I mean it's it's not gonna go anywhere uh, ideally it would have been the I wouldn't have wanted to through bolt stuff but since there's already a so many holes in the floor and B I don't want to add basically height um, I decided not to make any sort of like custom brackets or anything we're just gonna weld some big old pieces of steel to the floor and then um, bolt the seats straight through the floor uh, so I'm gonna get these metal pieces cut up welded up uh, and drilled and then we're gonna have to run over to the store and, and get some bolts okay so everything's welded in we set studs on that side just for ease of installation and because of the way the the seats are designed basically the inside is offset like this so that you can run studs um, and then this side you have to pass through the rail so it's usually better to use bolts and then we'll put a nut and a lock nut on the underside basically it's drilled through here um, I just hit it with some flat black or semi-gloss black or whatever just to keep the rest of the bay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Here we're going to clean this seat real quick 
and then I think bolt it in for the last time. Okay, both sides are fully welded in, ready to go. Next step is we gotta get these seats in here. Um, I'm gonna clean up the passenger and then just start bolting everything in. And hopefully, we'll be ready to rock and roll here in a minute. Okay, guys, let's take a look uh, in here at these seats. They are super comfy, super secure. Of course, the trade-off I made with truck seats that don't have, that are uh, manual is I don't have these built-in armrests. Some of the trucks had built-in armrests. Um, the outside ones are fine. The, the door ones are actually super comfy, these vinyl guys right here. And what we're gonna do eventually is here in the middle, we're gonna build a center console um, that's gonna come up here and then it's gonna run basically thinly forward around the uh, <clears throat> around the uh, selector for the transfer case um, because I would like to house some speakers in here. I'd like to have some storage. Um, all of these are good things, but I got these manual seats. They're you know reasonably clean for coming out of a junkyard. They're really the best I could do. Um, and the driving position is much more commanding. It's a little bit higher, a little bit more supported. Um, and more importantly, like this feels much, much better. You know, my, my head to, uh, to uh, roof ratio is pretty good. My um, ability to move back and forth is pretty good. I'm six foot tall and I'm about like halfway in the adjustment is the way I said it. So, you know, somebody who's considerably shorter than me could scoot the seat up or someone taller than me uh, could comfortably scoot the seat back. You know, the seats tilt and most importantly, the seat belts are built into the seat. Um, all of which are super duper good things. Um, I'm super happy with this day. Uh, this is a kind of time consuming process. Um, I think so. I got back from the uh, Junkers at like 11. Um, one, I would say probably four hours, right? Four hours to fabricate, install, bolt everything up, paint everything up, finish everything up. Um, so not too bad for a, for a Saturday project. I'm super happy with the way they turned out. Like I said, um, it's gonna make the makes the truck a lot more drivable. Um, I'm pretty crazy, but driving around without working seat belts in a seat that's not really bolted down very well is is uh, outside even my comfort zone. Um, you really shouldn't shouldn't do that, and you know unless you have an off road only vehicle. And even then, um, I'm a big proponent of not getting tossed out of the fucking truck if it rolls. Um, that being said, thanks for watching. My name is Max. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe uh, and tune back in. I don't know when it's going to happen. It'll probably be a couple of weeks from when this video airs. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a 4-inch lift kit from Rough Country. Um, fix this front suspension and give us the space that we need for these 33s. Uh, and then the episode after that, we are going to go hit the trail uh, and see how this thing uh, works out. Um, so if you want to make sure you, you see those videos when they come out, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. Um, you know, if you're curious about anything, you want to know how I did something, I'm, I'm always here to help guys. So let me know what you need. Anyway, I'm Max. This is Max Works. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.